Hi there, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Card. Fiona is on, woo, a minute early, Fiona. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome to Coffee and Card. This morning, Tuesday the 19th of September, um, I'm just looking, it's been horrendous rain for sort of like the past 24 hours here, but over the valley where we can see with our gorgeous view, there is a, a beautiful rainbow. It's actually just fading now. Um, in fact, it's nearly gone. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, no, it's sort of a little bit there. Anyway, there was a beautiful rainbow. I did manage to get a photo, but of course, it never really seems to do them justice. So it's been... Um, oh, it's back again now with the rainbow. Um, yeah, it's been pretty awful. I only managed to get out on one little walk with Beulah yesterday. Um, she hates the rain. She's such a diva. She, you have to go outside with her for a wee when it's raining. She, I mean, she's getting there now. Actually, this morning she did go out on her own. Um, but yeah, so I did. I only got out once with her yesterday, and today I haven't been out with her yet. She's currently asleep under my desk, as as usual. Well, <clears throat> so yeah, um, it's been pretty nasty weather and <clears throat> it does feel like <clears throat> excuse me it does feel like autumn is here which that's fine um I, I like autumn when it's nice and fresh and crisp but guess what strictly is back da, 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 da. so um yeah that signals the countdown to christmas when strictly is back whether you're a strictly fan or not I'm afraid there sometimes there's a little bit of Strictly chat because I love it. Um, so hi to Fiona, hi to Melly, hi to Anne, hi to Caroline, hi to Jane and hi to Betty. If you're watching from another country other than the UK and you've no idea what I'm talking about when I say Strictly, well, in, in the USA, it's called Dancing with the Stars and it's called that in Australia as well. But we invented it. Let's just say um, it, it. We we started it off, so yeah. Oh no worries, Jane. No problem. Right. Um, okay, doc. So, oof. What do I have to say? So, for those of you following me, um, me too, Caroline. The things I could tell you. I've, well, I've actually been to the final. Um, at Elstree one year, which yeah, I've I've got a bit of a backstory with Strictly, but anyway, that that's for another day probably. Um, so what's happening with me? Well, I'm still trying my hardest. I've got eleven days to try to earn this blinking trip to Mexico because me being me, I'm so close that I don't want to not. We have to get so many points, and I'm I'm within like. Well, I'm just trying to work out from a percentage point of view. Um, I've got over ninety percent of the points. That 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 will tell you how close I am. So I'm trying my best to get this trip. So how can you help if you want to help? I'd, I feel a bit funny mentioning it, but you know I have some amazing customers, and not just customers, friends, loyal supporters who've been absolutely brilliant. So if you're looking at booking for a class. Um, please book on. Um, I've got my treat day that's in November. I've got three bookings for that so far and you get absolutely so much stuff in it. It's going to be brilliant. Um, I've got my coffee and card. Now, uh, where's my little book gone? You won't know the answer to that. Um, only I will know the answer to that. Oh, I found it. I did have another booking for coffee and card this morning. So thank you, Jill for booking on for that and I've now got 16 which is brilliant um so that's great I did set myself a target of 20 but if I can beat that then then that would be amazing it will be my most popular coffee and card oh I'm just having a look back when I did I'm looking back in my book um Yeah, it will be my most popular probably for over a year. 
Um, so, yeah, on average, I get about eight people doing a coffee and card. Um, sometimes, sometimes less. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking back. I've also got bingo night on the 11th of um what's what's the word bingo night on the 11th of october I've got four bookings for that so far so it would be lovely to get a few more for that um and yeah so if you want to book onto any of the events it would really help me and i would be really really grateful and um i'll put the link at the bottom in a bit so yeah your pond's topped up betty right so we're on with the truck now, if you love the truck, the punch is currently out of stock at the moment. Um, oh, let me switch round. There we go. I've got some grid paper out today. I thought I'd be, I thought I'd be tidy. Um, so yeah, if you um, were after this bundle, if you've been enjoying what you've seen with it, the punch is currently out of stock at the moment, but it will be back in shortly. Um, and this is today's card. I'm going to use four different ink colours. Now, you don't have to. Just use what you have. Um, but I've used Pecan Pie, Mossy Meadow and Misty Moonlight. Uh, the card base is Pecan Pie. So in your card kit, you should have the Pecan Pie card base, a basic grey mat, a white glare there, and then a little tag which is from the Nested Essentials. You will have your patterned papers and you should have a piece of white to you do your stamping on. So I'm just going to find a little scrap of paper because we're only using a tiny, tiny bit today. And I don't know about you, but when I'm using a tiny piece, I don't want to cut into it. So I found that piece. Ooh, might try the stripes um but I, ha I have found that one that's cut down and it's mossy meadow that i've used but again you could use any of them you could use pecan pie if you wanted to um but yeah so i'll just pop those there and what we're going to do today we're simply stamping and punching out um oh hi jill we're simply stamping and punching out um the trucks okay so i've got some white paper here some white card i mean and i've got my stamp set here now i'm going to use a special delivery stamp today pop that on a block and i need my outline stamp and i need my insert and i also need the wheels now what do i mean by the wheels it's this stamp here which fills in the wheels. Oh, the rainbow's back. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I am going to stamp with basic grey. Now, if, you, if you're building up your ink pad collection, I would say basic grey is probably the one you want to start with. And then a nice colour. I'm going to just stamp one of these here. Now, what you have to bear in mind, when you're going in with this punch, just punch a little bit above. So, in order to make the most of it, well, I'm actually going to leave a little gap. You've got smaller pieces of scrap than me, so you might want to... Um, just cut it off first and then punch it. I'll show you another way of doing it. What you could do to make the most of your card is trim a bit down. I'm hoping that that's enough depth. Yeah. You could trim a bit off like this. Yeah. And then this, this would be an easier way. Look, I'm going to show you a really cool way. Oh no, actually. Oh no, that'd be fine. And then you could get, yeah. 
out. So just little tips, little tips. Oh, you're all really quiet this morning. Right. So the next job is I'm going to stamp the tyres. Now, you might see here the very, very pale. I'm actually stamping off a little bit today, which is why I've brought my grid paper. So I'm going to ink up and then I'm going to stamp on my grid and then I'm going to fill in the tyres so they're a little bit paler. So I ink up then I press on my grid and then I stamp down there. Ink up, press on my grid and stamp there. Oh that was a good one. That was a good one. Look, impressed with that. Yeah, I'm just making a cup. Of, yeah, I just had a coffee actually. Right. So I've used pecan pie, I've used mossy meadow, and I've used misty moonlight. Now my inks are quite juicy, and again, I am going to stamp off um, with these. Now what I'm going to do. First off, though, is I'm actually going to clean my stamp with the stamping scrub because I used it last week and I don't think I cleaned it. Knowing me, I probably didn't. Oh, I need that out, actually. I don't know why I did that, because I'm going to need to clean in between um, in between stamping. So let's start with pecan pie. Now, this is a brand new colour. It's a bit like soft suede, but it's a bit more of a, well, pecan colour, toffee colour, I'd say. So I'm going to stamp off on my grid, because it is juicy, because I want these trucks to look a little bit vintage. Yeah, line up. There we go. And if you do it right, you'll have a little line of like an accent over the wheel arches. I've not done bad there with that one, but as you can see, because I stamped off, it's gone a bit, it's paler and it's a bit vintage. Yeah, this this color of this truck. Anyone remembers the um, dis the cars, Disney Pixar cars? My boys were obsessed with it, Lightning McQueen. Well, there was the truck called at Mater, Tow Mater, and uh, it reminds me of that. Gosh, my boys collected those cars. Um, so here's the next one. There we go, green one, clean it up. That was Mossy Meadow for you. These colours that I've chosen, um, oh, apart from Misty, hang on. Oh, Misty is, they're all in the, they're all in the Neutrals collection, the Neutrals family. So, oops, last one. That was a bit high up, but never mind. Never mind, never mind. Hey, Wendy. Oh, no, it's been horrible, but we, we've, I've, we've still got the most beautiful rainbow. I did manage to sneak a picture before I came on, but it wasn't the best picture. But yeah, it's been horrendous, but it just looks like it's drizzling now. I was just saying that Beulah won't go out when it's raining. I'm going to go get her a little coat this week. Okay, so I've finished out that one. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I feed this in here, holding that.
got not much wastage if you do that so if you are crafting along i'm going to measure this if you cut a scrap that's oh just over three and a half centimeters one and a half inches one and a half inches and then that will be great for your trucks okay and then the last one this is the misty moonlight one Oh, there we go. Oof, that took a little bit more gumption. Right. You do get a lot of um, extra bits in that. Right, let's... Okie doke. So this is our card here. And I'm just going to pile them. Do you know what? Should we move them around? Should we mess about with the colour scheme? Should we do that? Just to be different. You know me, I like to do the second card a little bit different. Ah, thank you, Wendy. Yeah. Um, thank you, Fiona. I mean, for the thumbs. Yeah, I know. She, she um, She's a bit of a diva. Um, right, I'm just going to trim this down ever so slightly. It's just a little scrap I had, and I think I'll go for the spots. I'm just going to trim it down so that the spots at this side are sort of similar to the ones um, at the other side, if I can. If I can do that with this little trimmer. I think I might have done it. Yes, it just it makes it a little bit more symmetrical. And then we're going to cut it there. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to have spots on this one. Spots. And then what I do to flag the end is I like to cut in the middle and then cut from each edge to meet. Just get those in place and then we've got our little um, label here and I kept my ink pad open there we go and then everything what you need to do is just make sure you've enough room with the trucks when you get that label in. So this is why I'm positioning them. I always do this. Get things lined up first. Make sure you've got enough room. And you're all saying, yes, Julie. That's a bit wonky, I think. Right, so form pad, form pad dimensionals oh the last booking date for the next coffee and card fiona end of the month please um go yeah I've got 16 booked on which is brilliant I'd love to get to 20 well I'd love to get to 30 
pull that woman a bit wonky. There we go. Now with this, I'm going to put pads on here that I'm going to glue the um, background down. Um, well, the treat day earns me more points because it's got more products included in it because um, it's more expensive. But, yeah, I'm just trying my best, so. I've got four more, you see, because I've there's only three people in the UK who've earned every trip, and I am one of the three. And um, it, it's just, you know, it, it I had to take that full time job, didn't I? And um, it was hard to, and it was 42 and a half hours a week, which was relentless, um, plus traveling time to classes. So it was a 45 hour week, at least, job. And I mean, I, I'm proud that I kept stamping up going but I, I couldn't focus on it like um like i could or should have um and i've literally had to try and earn half the trip in four months which if i do it will be a massive feat in itself <laughs> i'm gonna pop some more classes in though um to hopefully that aren't until november and if people can book on early then then that might incentivize people so watch this space i will, will not give up it is a lot of hours fiona you know um but yeah but the i'm doing my social media now and that's 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 going really well at the moment i'm doing well with that and i'm enjoying it because i'm well, today's a little bit different because um, I do coffee and card, obviously on a morning. But I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do that for three hours on a morning. Uh, I won't do more than um, fifteen hours a week on that. Um, so I'm trying to sort of do three hours on that on a morning and then do crafting on an afternoon. But obviously that doesn't always pan out. I've, I have got a, a meeting today with a potential new client um so you know you've you've got other things to factor in you know supermarket shopping and all that life stuff you know um but yeah so that's going all right and i'm enjoying doing it i mean and i'm enjoying helping people and seeing them get results um so yeah oh another thing clearance rack's been updated today as well so if you were going to do an online order there's loads of bargains on papers and memories and more um oh thank you wendy it is it is and it, it you know and i have to realize that clients will come and go you know but i've got some really lovely ones at the moment um i i i agree and i i um i didn't want to have to go get that job um i didn't want to have to do it but i just couldn't pay my bills with just stamping up um, and that's what it comes down to, doesn't it? Especially with moving house and things. So, um, so yeah, but it, it did take its toll. It did take its toll on me. Um, but anyway, that is, that's in the past now. And we live and learn. And I've got experience. I've got experience now. So you've got to see it as a positive, I believe. Oh, brilliant, Betty. That's brilliant news. Um, Betty, you all I've got you down for, my love, is um, I've got you down for the, the coffee and card. Let me just check that. The next one. Well, the treat day is going to be on Zoom and Facebook, so you'll be fine with that because it was a bit like the launch on Sunday. Yep, yeah, I've got you down, Betty, for coffee and card and you're all paid up for that i am going to actually advertise the next coffee and card early which won't start till november and hope that that gets a little bit of um traction and that's going to be more traditional so anyway here are today's makes i'm, I'm going off on one um here are today's makes 
yes it is fiona it's on it's 4th of november it's available for booking i've got option a option b uh, vanessa and mandy are doing it um so yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna share um the products and things with you what's included so you can see um so yeah that is week two of um round 33 i had to think then so yes just mixed up the car colors a little bit in order and then i've changed the paper all right so that was week two let's put that back in the bag i did have a bit of a tidy up in my little craft room it's not i will be honest it's not as i want it at the moment we basically moved in and Evan helps me build the units and I shoved stuff in. Some 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 things that I'm happy with. Um but yeah, it's not as I want it at present, but it will be and it's getting there. Um so next week we're going to do background stamping with the car with the truck. So we're gonna do a little bit of background stamping next week, do a different card there. Um Using, using the ink colours I've used there. So that's next week's. Oh, we'll, we'll already be on week three next week. Wow. Right. So we, we've been talking about coffee and card. Starts on. Oh, let me put the let me put the booking link for my website on. Um, now, if one thing I will say, why you might not have seen it, Fiona. Um, Caroline, I'm answering that now, my love. Um, I'm trying to think. Do tell. I don't. I, I'm, I think I've lost you, Wendy and Anne. But anyway, it's fine. Um, no, Wendy, it's fine because I've got um, I've got extra products, so please message me after this and we'll sort it out don't don't worry um okay so um caroline asked about the coffee and card so for those of you who want to know the next coffee and card is the 17th of october the link to book now what i was going to say is if you're looking to book on a mobile phone it only shows you six events i think the next six so it might look that julie's not been very organized and she's not put more events on but sometimes julie has been organized and has put the, those events on and you would be better looking on an ipad or a laptop so i can give you a specific link to that event now um if you just bear with me but on the bottom of the screen is just the generic link to my website um and on a mobile as i say it sort of lists them as a as a bit of a list whereas on my on a laptop they're like a calendar um so here we go here is the link to the actual what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to try and go live every day up until the end of september um to sort of try and get a bit more get a bit more business um there you go that's the actual link there in the comments so oh yeah so hopefully you've you've got that once on facebook and once on youtube um okay coffee and card um a couple of things start 17th of october using the bare christmas berry christmas papers but not using the bare stamps, using this stamp set because this stamp set, if you were on my lot, for the ladies who were on my launch on Sunday, I was telling them that for me, there are three or four absolutely stunning greeting sets in the mini catalogue and they are the best, in my opinion. And this one is absolutely fantastic. 10 out of 10 to Stamping Up for bringing this out because it matches this one if any of my customers have the biggest wish stamp set um the birthday one these two are gonna be friends now eagle eye amongst you might 
actually think, well, this one's writing's bigger than this one. It's not going to match up. Uh, uh, uh. This one's only shown at 85% because they couldn't fit it all on the front. This one's shown at 95 They do look the different sizes, but I guarantee they match. How fab is this? This one's got 20 stamps in it, 20 stamps. This one only had 11, so that's where they can fit more on. But what you can do now, you can do Merry Christmas, you know, uh, Christmas wishes, things like that. Love you, love to you, loads of stuff you can do. But if you match it up with this, you can do birthday wishes, happy Christmas, you know, hello Christmas. <laughs> anyway, um, Christmas friend. Um, but yeah, you can do Happy New Year, friend. Um, so that's or Happy Christmas, friend. So that's really good that they match. So this is included in the coffee and card. Why not add this on if you don't have it? Just saying. You're also going to get a full pack, full, 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 full pack of the bare papers. Hang on. That's these ones, these gorgeous ones, okay? That's an unopened pack that I've got. Everyone needs at least two packs of those. And if you're doing the treat day, you're going to get another full pack of those. But honestly, you need them. Now, ink pad wise, on my cards, I have only used Misty Moonlight and Balmy Blue. So if you have those, then good to go. If you don't have them, you can um, add them on for 50 pence cheaper than they normally are. Um, so here are a couple of cards with what we're going to be doing on Coffee and Card. Um, please note that the base colour for this these papers is very vanilla rather than white. So you might have spotted it's vanilla uh, because the polars are sort of a two-tone. They're sort of white and vanilla. So we're going to do some lovely cards. The papers are gorgeous. The stamps work really well. Bit of cutting out. I know some of you love the cutting out. Um, hello, love. Yeah, brilliant. Um, so, yes, it's going to be fabulous. You're going to have loads of papers left. Um, and I can't, I can't wait to do it. And this is the class where I made all the cards for coffee and card in one afternoon. I never, ever do that. Never, but I did. So it's the power of the polar bears. Um, so yes, this starts on the 17th of October. Booking ends at the end of this month. Right. Treat day. Oh man, where do I start? There's two options. So you're going to get those papers that I showed you. Hang on. You're going to get a pack of those. Okay. Then you're going to get the bare stamp set that goes with them. This is option A. Then a full pack of these gorgeous, gorgeous gems. And then when I find them, Half a pack of the fabulous Memories and More cards. Now, this is a full pack, but you're going to get half. So you'll get the sticker sheets. That's half. You're going to get, we're going to make some fabulous easy cards and we're going to do all sorts with these. These are fantastic. Oh, just look at them. Just look at them. They're brilliant. Um, and half a pack of the cards and envelopes. So you're going to get loads. And there's small cards and gift tags and things. The images on my events page have it all spread out. So it should give you an idea. Um, so that's option A. So you get that, that, da, 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 da. Then option B, we add on a stamp set. Which was my top seller. Not that I had loads of sales on my launch on Sunday, but this was the top seller. This is one of my favourite greeting sets. Again, I was telling you that the greeting sets are going to be popular um, and it's a joy to you. So that's added on. Now, if anybody wants to add in the punch, um, if you want to add in the bear punch, which punches out the bears, 
then you can and I do a cheaper price if you look on the events page I think you say four pounds you can get it as a, as a bundle with this so there's lots on there's lots there's lots um now I did mention the next copy and card which I haven't put on yet I'm going to go traditional with that one and I'm going to use the joy of Christmas papers let me get those And these are the gorgeous Joy of Christmas papers. This will start in November. Um, I can't think on the date, but basically if we start, it'll be towards the end of um, mid-November it will be. Just We'll just get in. In fact, it might not be coffee and card. It could be coffee and craft. I could do a couple of things that aren't cards because we're getting nearer to Christmas. <clears throat> so for this round... Um, I'm going to do it based on these gorgeous papers and they're like hand drawn. They look like the, oh, look at that. They look like they're, they're drawn on vellum. There's music notes. I'm going to have to ask Craig what tune that is. I did say I'd do that on Sunday and I haven't. I mean, look at them. They're just so lovely. Um, so a bit more traditional, some wood effect. So that's going to be um, in November. And the stamps that I'm going to use with that, it's another sentiment. It's the Christmas classics. Um, if you like more of a scripted font, then this is great. And we're going to focus on this and just the holly and the berries. And we're going to focus on sort of more traditional. So I've not put that on yet, but that's my idea and thinking. Um, oh, and some gorgeous ribbon that goes with this. Hang on. We'll be using this gorgeous black and vanilla gingham ribbon with it. So, yeah, that is going to be the next one. And then I'll be doing one in between Christmas and New Year that's totally non Christmassy. Okay, so, um, oh, let me just read. I've missed a load of your comments. Yeah, I've not used vanilla for ages. Um, hi, Sarah, great to see you on. Yeah, I could do something like that, Betty, or a gift tags or bags. Um, hang on a minute, little Miss Puppy's pinched something. Have you found a scrap? Okay. She's pinched a scrap of card. So I think that's all from me. If anybody does have any questions um, about any of the events, then just, just drop me a message or email me. Um, but I've put the link up. And um, yeah, this is why this is why I want to. Um, oh, she's finished something else now. No, this is why I want to go live to share, um, and it might help my my um, goal. No, we're not having them. Right, you're gonna say hello to people. Come on, let's come and say hello. Come and say hello, because I don't think you've been on for a couple of weeks. Right, I'm gonna turn the camera around. I've got a little friend here. <laughs> I know, I know, you're licking my face. Hello. Oh, who's there? Who is there? Are you going to say hello, Beulah? Oh, there we go. She's had a groom. I don't know if you've... She's getting a bit darker now. Um. Oh, yes, Sarah. Watch the replay. Thank you for tuning in. Um. There we go. There's a there's our little furry friend. You've been asleep, haven't you? Hey, you've been asleep under the desk. You're gonna say hello. Oh, you're gonna get definitely get closer there. What are you trying to pinch? There we go. There we go. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Can you see yourself on that screen? Do you think it's another doggy? She is growing now. She's growing. Yeah. If I hold her, hang on. Yeah. She's. She's growing now. She's a, I think she's about six kilograms now. She was five and a half when we went. So, so yeah. I don't think, I don't know. People keep asking us how much bigger she'll get, but I don't think you'll get much bigger, will you? Me? Hey? She's six months now. So, yeah. Yeah. She does have lovely eyes, Wendy. Yeah. Um, her fur grows over her eyes so quickly. We had to sort of, I had to trim some fur over her eyes. She only had a groom three weeks ago, but just before she had a 
a recent groom. It had grown over her eyes so much, she actually walked into a wall because I don't think she could see. She was a little bit dazed, bless her. Right, I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. Um, if you've got any questions, then please just drop me a message and um, I'll hopefully be live probably not today now but um watch out for some facebook lives because i'm going to i'm going to go on and be sharing things to sort of help my cause right i will see you soon thanks for watching let's put you down thank you bye <laughs>